Life is hard for all of us, including you and me. Your life may not be hard right now, but I'll bet it was once upon a time and in the future, it will again be hard. Or even maybe your life is hard right now. What I want to talk about in this video is how accepting that life is hard makes it easier and not accepting that it's hard makes it more difficult and harder than it needs to be. We get sick, accidents happen, we lose things and people that we're attached to because we're betrayed and abandoned and our hearts are broken. We struggle with money, we're confused about what we want, how the world works and how to have healthy relationships, on and on. And if we're lucky, we get old and then we die. Or to summarize it, as has been said, shit happens and then you die. This is simply the nature of life. The question is, how do we regard and how do we respond to this fundamental human condition? Do we believe that it should not be this way and resent the pain and difficulties that we're confronting in our lives? Do we think that there's something uniquely wrong or unworthy about ourselves such that we have to experience pain and difficulty? Do we think that smooth sailing is a, the normal human birthright that we've somehow been deprived of and feel resentful about? What happens if this is the way we regard and relate to the hard parts of our lives. Well, we tend to complain a lot. We resent it. We feel like victims. We identify as a victim. And we can feel hopeless and resigned and passive. Or we can feel angry and cynical and fight against life. Either way, we make things worse. We make things worse than they need to be, harder than they need to be. In addition to feeling resentment and anger and cynicism about the hardness of life, we can feel shame about it. We can hold in our minds an ideal image of a wonderful life that if it isn't happening, it's all our fault. And certainly we play a role in adversity that befalls us. We do things that cause things to happen and that's important to pay attention to. But it's good to remember <laughs> that life is basically hard and it's not all your fault. Shame can be paralyzing and can really shut us down and keep us from accessing the resources we need to meet those challenges. So in contrast to what happens when we resent and feel angry and cynical about the hardness of life, what happens if we accept the hardness of life? And I want to be clear that by acceptance, I don't mean a passive resignation. I mean meeting the pain and difficulty of life head on. It means saying to oneself, I am sick, it is so. I am poor, it is so. I have been lied to, it is so. I have failed, it is so. I have lost something precious to me, it is so. Face that. And then to ask oneself, instead of complaining, what can I do about it? How can I change this? Or how can I adapt to what cannot be changed? When we don't accept the hardness of life, we get mired in resentment and shame. We divert our attention and our energy away from the task at hand, which is coping with and overcoming our adversities. The, difficulties that might activate our resilience and galvanize our character become excuses for us for not showing up. We look for a place to place the blame, other people, ourselves, God. Allocating blame is not the end of the story. It doesn't settle the matter. It may be a necessary first step, but what's important is our response, what we do. There are problems in life that need to be solved, but I would say that life itself is not a problem. Life is a continual presentation of challenges that we navigate, and there is no end to it. And if we accept that, we continue to navigate. We don't look for some final solution and blame ourselves, God and other people, if we're not living the ideal. We're moving in the direction that we choose.
Paradoxically, in my experience, the more I accept the hardness of life, the more accessible are feelings of gratitude, of wonder, of joy. Yes, life is brutally hard. It's also a beautiful miracle. Love is possible. All things and experiences are sacred. The divine is whispering from all directions. But if we reject the hardness of life, we can't properly hear it. I think there's a false way to accept the hardness of life. It's to tell oneself that because hard and painful things will happen, there's no point in indulging in painful emotions. There's no point in feeling disappointment or sadness or fear or anger. It's to develop a kind of rigid, armored stoicism. Actually, to accept the hardness of life is not just to accept that hard things happen, painful things happen, is to accept that we feel something about that. We will have painful emotions. This requires a lot of courage. It also requires the capacity to process those feelings and to allow them to inform what we do next without dictating what we do next. So whatever is difficult in your life, may you embrace it without resentment or shame. May you find the courage and the inner resources to respond in a way that allows you to navigate the choppy waters of your life and develop your resilience and your character. And may this open you to a profound gratitude for each and every day that you have the opportunity to discover and experience love, beauty, and truth. That's it for now. Thanks for sticking with me to the end. If you liked this video, please give it a like, subscribe, leave me some comments, and share it with a friend. Below you'll find a link to my online store called Attention Bazaar, and you'll also find links to mugs, t-shirts, and tote bags with the slogan, Life gets easier when you accept that it's hard. If that could be a useful reminder for you of the ideas that I've shared today, uh, check it out. For now, goodbye and uh, see you next time.